So as someone who has dislocated his shoulder more times than he can count, as someone who has gone through not one, but two shoulder labrum surgeries, I could definitely be a testament to saying how important shoulder stability and mobility is. So in this video, I wanna finally give you a mobility protocol that you can follow to make sure that you have the best shoulders in the game that are also very well balanced and secure. So let's get right into it. So in this mobility program, I recommend you to do both static and dynamic stretching. So the static stretching is gonna be long-term results that you see from consistent stretching over a long period of time. So usually I recommend people, recommend people do that when they wake up and when they go to bed. Um, dynamic stretching is usually like right before you work out or right before you're gonna be using that joint with a lot of weight, a lot of impact, whatever it is. Um, and so you move the joint through movements that are functional or what you're gonna be doing so that it, those muscles are warmed up when they're actually used. All right, so to start off with the static stretches, you guys can screenshot this if you wanna keep it for later, but I'm gonna talk through them right now. So starting off with the foam rolling, I like to kind of crack my neck, get it loosened it up here, and then just start rolling into my back just to kind of loosen everything up, just to feel more limber, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I like to do this little thing where I kind of hug myself, which opens up my rhomboids and shoulder blades. Uh, it just gets a little couple more cracks and pops in there just to loosen everything up. And then I move on to all the other muscles in my upper body, so my lats and arms and chest and whatnot. And then like here, when I find a tight spot, I kind of just sit on it, apply some more weight and roll through it until the, uh, the kind of kink is worked out. So um, I'll do that for each muscle where I feel like there's tightness. I just kind of like to take my time. Foam rolling can take a little while, but I think that the benefits are worth the time spent. Um, I honestly think that it gives me a better mind-muscle connection when I do it. Breaks up some scar tissue, the whole nine yards. So highly recommend doing it if you're not already. Um, so then I keep the foam roller and I go into this kind of praying yoga position with my wrists resting on the foam roller. And what I do is I start with my hands kind of wide and I kind of just rock forward, hold this for like five to eight seconds each position bring the hands in closer and closer. What this is doing is it's stretching out your shoulders. So the top and the bottom, loosening up all those tendons and ligaments as well as the muscles in there. Um, and so I'm just bringing my hands in inch by inch each time until I feel like I'm at the point where I am properly warmed up. So I do this again, probably three or four times a day. Um, really easy to do. You don't necessarily need a foam roller but I just found that that is the most comfortable way to do it. So go ahead and give that a try. So right after that, I move into some uh, scapula push-ups, which are a great way to, uh, you know, start working on your scapula control, shoulder blade control. And I used to have terrible shoulder blade control. And this movement was probably the sole reason why I gained better control of them in the recent months. So yeah, try it out. Um, next, I go on to some of these wall Static stretches where I'm just kind of leaning against my shoulders at different angles, opening them from up from different ways. Doing the same with the rotator cuffs, coming from an upward angle, just leaning forward slightly, you know, not a whole lot of pressure on them, just kind of leaning forward to the point of tension, um, just kind of stretching them out. I found that if I stretch them too hard, they end up actually being aggravated and hurt. So, um, yeah, so I vary the angles going from the side here as well. Um, nothing crazy, just kind of introducing slow, easy stress onto the rotator cuffs. So for our dynamic stretches, the stuff that we're gonna do before our workouts, highly, highly recommend picking up a resistance band with the color that's not too difficult for you, but that's not, so, that's not also too easy. And so here we're doing external rotation, which is gonna be your bread and butter. Um, as you can see, I'm keeping my wrist pretty straight, my elbow as close to my body as possible. And the only thing that's moving is my arm. So it's the only thing that's moving is the external rotation of the humerus bone, if you want to get technical. Um, and so I think, again, like I said, picking the right resistance is super important here. Um, and so you should kind of be feeling the burn around reps 10 to 15. Um, that's kind of fine. I found where the sweet spot is and just trying to, trying to improve as the, uh, as the resistance bands get harder and then eventually you just go up to a color that's harder 
and you just keep repeating the cycle. Um, and so then I like to do these little, uh, they call like band circles. You see people doing this with like sticks and stuff, but like I do it with the band because my mobility isn't that great. And looking at this, you're probably like, Baylor, your right shoulder is completely immobile. Like it's way worse than your left one. And I would agree, it, it is pretty bad as you can see, um, but it actually has gotten a lot better from what it used to be. And I'm really happy with my progress so far. I've been improving it pretty much every single day. And while it might not look like the best to you, just objectively, I have improved it a whole lot. And so I'm really proud of that. Um, and so then I do some more scapula warm ups, and so I'm just kind of do these kind of like pull downs here with the band. Um, like you can see from the front angle here, it's not really as much like pulling with the lats, it's just kind of squeezing the shoulder blades together, pulling your wrists around your body is the best way to envision it. Um, and then I do it from a neutral angle here in the front. I'm just calling pulling back and through, just trying to make sure your scapulas are depressed and down when you're doing that, as you can kind of see through my shirt there. Uh, so give that a shot. And then I like to do some of this, you know, arm circles. Nothing too complicated, nothing you haven't seen before. Um, you know, I don't like to overcomplicate things. Um, I just like to do a lot of different movements to get the blood flowing. Um, you know, I come from a very athletic background, so I do a lot of things that I did as an athlete. And I find that these are the best ways to just kind of make sure that your shoulders are completely warmed up, doing some of like the swimmer warm ups here. Um, just kind of the stuff that I have picked up over the years that I found have worked for me and I think could also work for you too if you gave it a shot. So then finally I add some weight to uh, make sure everything is just properly warmed up just to check every single box, um, doing some more external rotations, some more lifts like side laterals and just rear delt warm ups right here. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. Um, I keep it pretty simple but I you know make sure I do everything diligently. And I think this is what has saved me from injuring my shoulders in the recent years and what has helped me um, recover from my injuries as quickly as I have. Um, so try this out. Um, I will post this in the description as well if you just want to download it um, as well as you can just screenshot it from before. Um, and I'll put it at the end of the video right here as well. But um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe if you're not already. I got some more coming in the future. And uh, with that, I really just want to say thank you. It really means a lot. All your support over the last few months has gotten not gone unnoticed. And, you know, it just really makes my day. You know, not many people can do this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not anywhere crazy by any means. But I'm just saying it, it feels really cool to finally be able to, you know, share my stuff with some people. So anyway, thank you guys for, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.